something I dreamt about and never thought was achievable. Everyone looks back at the Super Touring with rose tinted glasses, like with fondness, but it was incredibly unfair. As an independent, you weren't allowed the same tyres, you weren't allowed the same engines, you weren't allowed the same everything, and that was the first ever race that the independents had the same tyres as the factory cars, and we won that weekend, first time out. The race itself was looking pretty good until you got to the mandatory pit stop that we had in those days, and then it all went quiet in the car, didn't it? Yeah, um, it was funny. Tim Harvey was our team manager that year. <laughs> when we stalled in the pit lane, Tim, it, Tim's clipboard went down on the floor and he had a big stamping, uh, stamping moment. But um, the Nissans, the, the engines, they were, they were a nightmare to start. If you, if you stalled it, you just couldn't restart them for life nor many. So when I stalled, I actually thought it was game over. But I hit the start button in, in mad panic and it fired straight away. Pure luck. And then we were down in fifth, and I actually thought it was all over then, so I just got my head down and went, well, let's see if we can get where we can get back to. I never thought, um, never thought we'd get back to win. I remember this great cheer that went up when you got the lead, because for an independent, an underdog, to be ahead of all the factory teams was unheard of. Could you hear that in the car? Yeah, I mean, what people don't realise, it is incredibly noisy in the cars, but that is one of the few occasions where I've heard the roar of the crowd from inside the car. It makes the hairs on my arms stand up now, and I still get people to this day coming to me and saying I was there or I saw it on TV or you know some sort of reminisce. Alan Gow had said if an independent wins I'll put up a prize of £250,000. Which was sweeter, the win or the money? Taking money off Gow means a huge amount to me because not many people are good at that. Um, the money was an absolute bonus and it made it such an iconic thing with live TV it's one of you know, uh, and all the rest of it. Was that the race that put Matt Neal on the map? I think so. I think it's the race that put all independents on the map uh, and it changed the championship going forward from, from there on.